2020, that record was set. Sat with Kareem in Cayman in 2019. When Pinnock in great form, we watched each series of jumps by Pinnock, wondering if the slipper would drop there. Record survives. Kareem still alive. Uh, good morning, Kareem Street Thompson. And here, his event in progress in Kingston. William Sharp of St. Kitts and Nevis on the runway. Seventeen athletes starting in the long jump for under twenty boys. And that one somewhere around six seventy, six eighty gets the white flag. So we'll have the measurement. The field includes the Jamaican Jaden Hibbert. Also includes Euroy Ryan of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Two athletes who have jumped really big this season. Hibbert already leading the competition with 7.52. Made that 7.53. Jaden Hibbert leading the competition with and 671 for the Ketishan William Sharp. We're in the opening round of the competition. There's competitor 221. Americ Chalku of Guadeloupe. Chalku of Guadeloupe. Oh, that's a nice effort. Touching up on seven meters. 17 athletes in the field, the top eight. Ticket. Three further jumps after they all get three. As we have another look at Americ Chalku. Very nice hitch kick on that jump. Um, leading last time we were with this event, and that's another massive effort for Jaden Hibbert. Here's another look at it. Speeds down the runway. Lovely lift. Great extension into the pit. And uh, the Jamaican number one hadn't finished in the top two at the Jamaican Curve to Trials. 756. He has the lead. 753 on his first round effort. Here's the high jump champion from last night. Aaron Antoine of Trinidad and Tobago. 715 long jumper, but you expect him to improve that here at Carifta. We are in the second round of the under 20 boys long jump. Hits the board well. Oh, that's a decent effort. I think it's over seven meters. Should trouble his personal best. Dragging that takeoff leg. Big bang onto the takeoff board. Lots of jumps last night to 216 on the third attempt. Maurice, and here he is. Nice takeoff, hanged in the air a little bit. Um, it's difficult though, trying to make that transition from high jump to long jump. The, the takeoff is not exactly the same and you have to make a lot of uh, adjustments, but 678, not a bad effort. Yeah, 678 for Aaron Antoine, this is Raven Walkin of the Turks and Caicos Island, 602 on his first attempt. He's in 14th position. Remember, the top eight after the first three rounds will get three more attempts. His brother was in the discus, twin brother. Both train here in Jamaica. Was about to say I've seen him before and it wasn't in the long jump. Seeing doubles. He asked for the support of the crowd. Some of them know him from his jumping here at championships, and they crank up the decibels for the boys under 20 long jump. 6-6-9 six, six at the Jamaican High School Championships. So let's see if he can better that here at the Carifta Games. Oh, he, he either hit the board perfectly or that was a foul. Look very close, gets the white flag. 
Raven Walkin of the Turks and Caicos Islands in 14th position, trying to get a mark that will at least get him into the top eight. He's fast. Here he is attacking, coached by Jeremy Delissa, just like Hibbert is. And you can see him try to hold his flight phase, Maurice, to get the distance. He didn't get a lot of height. Um, you would think with all that speed, he could transition a little bit to get more height. Uh, he didn't get a lot of height, but he tried to get that extension on the landing enough to get whatever centimeters or meters that he could muster. So 6.56.4, Vulcan, William Sharp of St. Kitts and Nevis, next on the runway, so that he's in 10th position. Second round effort for the Kittishan. And the... 650, 640 region gets the white flag. The wind probably just with the long jumpers now. As we have a look at this effort from William Sharp of St. Kitts and Nevis. So Chalku coming up 706 in seventh position. So he's holding down a top eight place at the moment in the second round. Aaron Antoine, the high jump champion from Trinidad and Tobago, has seemingly pulled out of the competition. Amrik Chalku of Guadeloupe, over seven meters on his first attempt, not quite in round two. Runs comfortably on the runway, doesn't deviate a lot, good hitch kick, but still, there you go, a little bit behind the board. He's not going to get the benefit of that uh, hard surface to get that pop in the air, so he could get a little bit if he's on the board, but um, just, I think it's just below 7 meters. Aaron Spencer of Barbados in 12th position at the moment. He is a 730 jumper. It was 671 that last effort for Chalco of Guadeloupe. So Spencer of Barbados, Kaiba Dawson of the British Virgin Islands, one of the medal favorites coming in, has pulled out with an injury as well. Spencer outside the top eight. Needs to be over 7 meters to get in there. Oh, great speed on the board. And that is over 7 meters for sure. That should be good enough to have him in the top 8 for now. In the second round of the long jump. That was a decent effort. Watching Very them, quick. Ramon Bailey, two-time national champion. Very quick around the runway. Very, very aggressive. A good pop. A lot of extension on that landing. Still not where he needs to be. Could be a little bit too cl um, um, close on the board. Very fast. Nice effort. Seven meters and 30 this season. And reach for some of that distance to move up the standings on his second attempt. 684. 684. So that is not an improvement, actually. I thought for sure it was over seven meters. 48 now. 670 in round one. 40 of Guadeloupe. I don't think that will be an improvement. And if it is, I don't think it will be much of an improvement for the Guadeloupe athlete. 
7 meters and 10 centimeter performer. He's on the board, leans back quite a bit when he's running, holds that leg, doesn't get that proper extension on the landing, sacrifices some distance right there. 672 to close round two. Let's go to the start of round number three. Evans. Mateo Smith, one of two Bahamians in the field. The second one, Zachary Evans, 737 this season, 30 in the 100, big and powerful and fast. 711 in round two, occupies fifth position. Shows his speed on the runway. Almost lost control in the air. Once again. Likely over seven meters, so he remains consistent in this competition. But he needs a much bigger effort. No extension on the landing. Not on the board. He's just quick, he's just quick, but there is really no hitch kick. Doesn't really drive that knee up. He uses his speed a lot to get his distance. Some great jumpers in Bahamian track and field history with Frank Rutherford and Levan Superman Sands. They'll grab a hold of this boy and turn him to a great jumper. Jamaican Curve the Trials champion, 679 for Evans of the Bahamas. Trevor Nhema of Guyana. Uh, Wesley Tyndall, the first of the Guyanese. 711 for him as well. That came in the opening round. Can he improve? 713 at his best, so not far outside his personal best already in this competition. Three zero two, the leader, Jaden Hibbert of Jamaica. 756, his best mark, came in the second round. Wesley Tindall, Guyana, third round effort. Doesn't look bad, you know. Looks like he was over seven meters again. Wesley Tyndall, the guy needs number one. Six ninety four for him, so not as good as his best of seven point one one meters. Again, these athletes are behind the board. Now, many persons would think that if you have the the wind behind you, pushing you, that you would probably jump further. But what that does, it gives you a lot more speed makes you out of control and long jump is something that you need to be in control to take those uh takeoffs and drive the knee up you need to be in control to do all that thing so when he has more speed it's actually working against him so the wind in their back right now messing up the run-ups 
messing up all the form and all the control, it's working against the athletes. Trevon Hamer there, the Guyanese number two, with his third and final, with his third round effort. It could be his final if he's not in the top eight at the end of it. And he needs to be over seven meters. And that last effort was not over seven meters. Here's the leader, Jaden Hibbert of Jamaica. 7.53 to start, 7.56 in round two. Third round effort, 7.87 at his best. A 16.66 long jumper, world on the 20, silver medalist in the triple jumper. 16.66 triple jumper. There's another big effort. He isn't pleased with the effort, gets the white flag. But he continues to enjoy the lead in this long jump final. This is Hibbert, has grown in the past year. Now quite fast on the runway. Gets the board nicely and reaches up for the distance. His 787 equal the old boys and girls champs record of 787 by Leon Gordon set in 1993 in a yellow vest like this. Hibbert, number one in the world at long jump and triple jump under 20. Here's Balvin Israel of Jamaica on the runway. 7.37, third round for Jaden Hibbert. Israel, the second Jamaican in the field, in fourth position with 7.12 in the opening round. can go much better than that. Balvin Israel is a 7.32 jumper at his best. Long strides on the runway, extends, hopefully for him, beyond seven meters. And he gets the white flag, which means the jump will be measured and it will count towards his push for a Karifta medal. I'm hoping at this point the, the coaches are giving these athletes advice not to try and run too fast on the runway. The wind is already pushing you down the runway. Relax, take your time, execute your technique and pop. You need more height in this situation. When the wind is blowing, you need to get up in the air so the breeze can actually take you maybe that extra centimeter or two further in the pit. You don't need to be running too fast on the runway now. Take your time, relax, execute your uh, form, and then pop. Once you get in the air, there's nothing you can do except to hold the technique and get extension for that landing. That's the advice these athletes need to be getting right now. 7-0-3, as we look at Haley Zimmerman now, 7-0-1, he's in 8th position, so holding that all-important 8th spot with those athletes set to get 3 further attempts. Zimmerman of Aruba already has a personal best today with that 7-0-1 came in with 6.50 meters and that's a pretty big improvement to make in the long jump half a meter really as we look at his third round effort behind the board not a great jump but the improvement as you said ricardo by his standards Simply, simply tremendous. The top two jumpers in the world at the under 20 level are in this competition. The second one, the world number two, you are Ryan of St. Vincent and the Grenadines on the runway. He's in third position though at 7.21. That was in round one. Here is Ryan. Trains in Kingston at Jamaica College. Hits the board well. And that is a big effort. It's a red flag. Well, that looked good, except... It won't count. <laughs> oh. About three meters over that threshold. 
but he was very composed on the runway very composed and i thought that maybe that coach that he's listening to gave him some advice he was very controlled and he popped very nicely in the pit that could have been the winner right there another look at raven Volkin of the turks and keiko silence third round effort for Walkin. Six fifty six last effort fall this effort and he will not make progress to the final eight so his long jump campaign comes to an end just over but doesn't matter how much over you are By a millimeter or a mile, it doesn't matter. If it's over, it's over. And when we used to do long jump in high school, the coaches used to just shout out, No! 671, 644 for William Sharp. In 11th position, he needs 702 to move into the top eight. Can he get it? All of St. Kitts and Nevis watching this right now. Sharp is fast, but almost an abbreviated extension into the pit. That cost him a lot of distance, I think. And the white flag he'll get, but the desired mark he won't. No, it doesn't look that way at all. He tried to just be composed on the runway, but he sacrificed a little bit of speed. There's a slight a, a balance that you have to have. Uh, he's on the board, nice, good position on the board. Didn't get a lot of strength and pop from that takeoff. As you said, abbreviated landing. Doesn't look like it was enough. Maybe about 620, 627 thereabout. <laughs> 627, that Pro last effort. Crunch time now as they run out of attempts, round number three. 48 in seventh position. And that's another good looking effort. Could be challenging his best of 7.06. But he is sure though that he will have three further jumps in this competition. There, there you see him very relaxed, very composed. Good pop, a little bit behind the board, maybe three centimeters. Gets up nicely though. Notice as well that Aaron Spencer of Barbados passed round three, or did he? No, here he is. He was supposed to go ahead of Portier, who has equaled his best performance at six at seven zero six. 693 and 684 for Aaron Spencer of Barbados. It's do or die crunch time. Well, actually, it was Shalku of Guadeloupe who had gone just before. So it's Shalku who is in that seventh position. Spencer needs 702 to be in the final. Oh, he's going to get there. I think he caught one nicely. White flag will be measured and uh, Maurice you talked about someone catching the wind off the pump that happened for Spencer wow look at this hits the board brilliantly left leg take off very nice very controlled he has a lot of speed initially he's just a quick runner and he uses that but goes in the air and just relax and allow the wind to take him look at that flight textbook extension love the extension into the pit what they call the leg shoot in great britain perfectly timed for spencer 7.37 he's not only in the top eight he's in a medal position now 48 last chance no he's out the guadeloupe number one coming in sees the number two make the top eight and he doesn't
So Aaron Spencer of Barbados moves into second, going into the final three efforts. And there's the wind gauge, plus 2.2. So difficult out there to make the adjustments with the breeze blowing at you on the run. The wing advice, be careful on the run. Let the breeze take you in the air. Great action on the second morning of the Carifta Games from the National Stadium in Kingston, Jamaica. Let's head closer to the track for an interview. Thank you very much, Ricardo. I'm here with the winner of the girls under 20 shot put, Trenise Hamilton of Dominica. Final eight who will have uh, three more attempts to come in this competition. Aaron Spencer of Barbados with a third round effort of 737, getting himself in second position. At that stage, he wasn't even in the top eight, but when you talk about a clutch effort, that's exactly what he delivered. Dug down deep to find something, jumped at his level, 730 coming in, 737 to save his competition here in Kingston, and he survives to the top eight. So 2-2-1 two, two, will get us going from Guadeloupe in the eighth position. Amrit Chalku and it starts with an effort close to the seven, seven meter mark but I'm not sure that will be too much of an improvement for Amrit Chalku of Guadeloupe. Has a super run up, that's half the job done, has to tune up his takeoff and flight technique. Definitely, definitely some tune-up required. Um, the advice that I thought that coaches would be giving earlier, it still applies now. There's still wind. There's three more attempts. They have three more attempts to make a difference. We saw that clutch effort earlier, and we saw clutch efforts last night in the high jump uh, with Antoine, uh, Aaron Antoine. He got a clutch effort, got over 216, um, clutch efforts are there, the time is there, just relax, take your technique, um, get your technique right, it can happen. Wesley Tyndall, 7 in 7th position. Fourth round effort for the Guyanese. Hit the board well, but I'm not sure if the distance will be good enough to get an improvement in position for him. He has a nice run on the runway, but his takeoff and landing, not so good. Doesn't spend a lot of time in the air, which at this point, that's what you need. The speed and that time in the air will give it a distance. Seven zero four for him, so no improvement there. As we look at Zachary Evans of the Bahamas. Seven eleven in the second round. His second best effort of seven zero six separates him from the Guyanese, so he is in sixth position. Zachary Evans of the Bahamas. Round four of the long jump final for under 20 boys. The Bohemian steel drums in the background. But he can't jump to that rhythm and may, sees a red flag. May have thrown him off quite a, a bit because he was trying to concentrate. Uh, the wind blowing behind him tried to hold his composure, couldn't just do it. Here's the number two Jamaican, Balvin Israel, 712, in fifth position by one centimeter. The drums not for him, but he finds the rhythm, or does he? No, he doesn't. 
oversteps the board by a long way and bails out of the attempt. Very unorthodox start to his run. Takes some long strides. Try to get ready and keep his stride on, on track, but again, the wind is blowing. Take your time, relax. It will come. Don't try to go too fast on the runway. Joe Ryan in fourth position. Ranked number two in the world as an under-20 athlete this season, the Vincentian has a personal best of 7.75 meters, but he sits outside the Carifta medals at the moment. Here is Ryan, nice, tall and smooth down the runway. It's another good effort. Does he get the white flag this time? Yes, he does. Juroy Ryan chasing a Carifta medal here and produces what looks like a healthy effort in the fourth round. Has been battling Hibbert all season. A big foul in the first three rounds. Gets it together on the fourth attempt and moves up in the standings. Ryan, great job. Seven. 32 for Uroy Ryan. This is Matteo Smith, who has now slipped into fourth position with his best of 730. That was in round one because Uroy Ryan has now overtaken him. Matteo Smith of the Bahamas. Outside the medals now. Lots of speed on the runway. Oh, he responds well. Is it well enough for the Bohemian? Has a close look. Examines what he's just produced. And now he waits on the officials to confirm whether he is back in bronze medal position. It's hard when you see someone overtake you, drop you from third to fourth, push you out of the medals and then try to respond 711 it's not good enough he remains in fourth here's the barbadian aaron spencer 737 well they have it at 731 mm. well we'll get confirmation on that it was 737 in the third round that has him in second position. Look at that speed on the runway. Oh, he's flying again. He's threatening his best from round three, gets the white flag. The Barbadian is turning it on in Kingston. Very fast down the runway, extremely fast, but then he just takes up and relax get maximum extension on that landing very good on the board very good placement a lot of air time that extension is beautiful to watch that speed and that time in the air that gives it a distance i think that's the exact formula 7.4 gets closer to the leader Jaden Hibbert who has passed his fourth round effort as we go back to Amarik Chanku in eighth position. Chanku. I think they have decided now that my advice should work. He's a little bit more reserved on the runway. He's more controlled. Just want to see if that control with that time in the air will give him the distance. Seven one five four Chalku continues to improve in the competition. That should take him, I think, up to fifth position. 
Great jump from Chalku. Continues to improve. The Guyanese Wesley Tyndall now. In the fifth round, Tyndall, 7 registered in seventh position. Puts everything into the effort. Loses control of the jump in the air. Does well not to fall flat on his face. Does well not to do that indeed, but he got a lot of height. Just couldn't hold that rotation, over rotated just a little bit, a lot of height didn't have enough energy to bring those legs forward to get that extension very close to the edge of the pit actually i think his knee actually touched the surface of the pit like the chevron the track surface just waiting on that distance he is a tough lad 661 that will not help him to improve As we get ready for the Jamaican who would have slipped down the list, started the final three in fifth position. He's now in sixth position with 7.12 meters. Can Israel produce a big mark? It's over seven. It looks over seven. Has a white flag to go with it. There's that unorthodox start, very long strides, sits a little bit, tries to get quicker to get that penultimate step and that hitch kick pop, holds the extension. There is seat up, good height, nice extension. Just waiting on that distance. 722 for him. An improvement for the Jamaican, but not in a medal position. Regains fifth position. Here is Uroy Ryan in the bronze medal position. Improved to 732 in round four. So just an incorrect graphic coming up there, but. Here is Ryan in bronze. That's not bad, but is it better than 748? That's what he needs for silver, and I don't think that's better. Looks very close. Again, he made some adjustments since that foul in the first set of jumps. A little bit ragged in the air, just needed to relax. Nice run down the runway, good pop. Too much movement in the air. A beautiful sprinter though. Great run up and trying to go for maximum. This 752, Uroy Ryan. In the silver medal position, Mateo Smith of the Bahamas, 730, row number one. He's down in fourth. He now needs 749, which would be a big personal best if he is to have a chance at a Carifta medal. Smith of the Bahamas focuses. Stucky, powerful, fast, and big. But is it big enough? It's a good effort. Very fast down the runway. I think these boys have gotten a handle of the wind blowing into their backs down the runway, coming up from Kingston Harbour and the Bank of Jamaica, blowing up through the stadium. Here's Spencer. In the bronze medal position now, the Barbadian. Getting ready for his fifth round effort, 7.26 for Smith of Bahamas. 
he remains in fourth. This young man, 748 in round four. So I think something has gone wrong with the graphic. All the results coming up at 711 in the fourth round. He's 748. He's in the bronze medal position. The speed shows down the runway. Oh, that's massive. That might be a gold medal jump. He's been getting better and better with each effort. And Aaron Spencer of Barbados might have just taken the lead in round five of the Carifta under 20 long jump final. Oh, that is a terrific effort. Oh, look at that extension again. His third round effort was massive because he made a lot of adjustments. Very quick down the runway. Ex excellent down the runway. Good pop. Stays in the air, relax. Get that extension. Made that adjustment from the third round. Comes back in the fifth round and is now ready. Wow, it was 743. I don't believe it. Looks so much bigger than 743. Here is Jaden Hibbert. He realizes that his lead of 756 is being threatened. Show speed down the runway, nice and tall. Hits the board well, or does he? What's the color of the flag? It's white. This long jump is heating up in Kingston. And Jaden Hibbert, the world number one, may just have extended his advantage. Lovely run down the runway for Hibbert tall adjusted to going up off the board and here looks back at how far he's gone a quarter of the board 20 cm he gets five here he is front view focus doesn't look down to the board a little peak and out there i think he's taking the lead to he a further distance for Jaden hibbert 7.62 meters the jamaican extends his advantage we're in the final round now of the long jump. There's confirmation. Chanku of Guadeloupe. First to go. Final effort for him. Won't put him in the medals. A little bit tired. Long competition. Breeze swirling back and forth. A fair jump, but not the best. Two to one. Amrik Chalku of Guadeloupe. Very passive down the runway. Tried to get a little bit quick to the end of that run. Didn't have a lot of energy for that takeoff. Seven zero one, not good enough. I've always wondered what's it like to compete in glasses mr smooth ran in the dark shades there are others who use the testing glasses is that another leave alone two four three on the runway Guyana's Wesley Tyndall. Final round for him. The business end of this competition will be the final four or five. Unless one of the others can produce something special. Tyndall has come into this competition with the best of 713. He has produced 7 1 1, so he's jumping round about the best he ever has. And sometimes that's all you can ask of an athlete in a major championship. 7 1 2. So another improvement for him as far as the mark is concerned. The Jamaican Israel will have to produce a personal best to get a medal. 722 in the last round he needs 749 for bronze there's his card 
perfectly right now. 7.12 in round one, 7.22, he's in fifth position. Tall, fast, aggressive on the runway. Not bad, but I don't think it's as good as 7.49. And that's what he needs for a medal, needs 7.31 to move from fifth to fourth. Long strides getting out of that start position. Tries to get quick, cuts his stride. Sacrifices a little bit of air time and height. And that may have been the difference. Just his toe on the board, Maurice. 17 centimeters more to work with. Gives that up. But nice flight, nice effort for the Curve the Trials champion in Jamaica. Equal is Curve the Trials winning mark at 722. Here's you, Roy Ryan. 718 in the final round. Ryan is in the silver medal position. 7.52 meters in round five. He needs 7.63 to take the lead. The world number two is in second behind the world number one. Ryan. Foul. Silver is what he'll get. World rankings upheld. Number two, short of world number one. Silver for you, Ryan. Great season. Unless the Bohemian Matteo Smith can produce something special. Super special. On his final attempt. Smith of the Bahamas. He's a gamer, has tuned up his jumping throughout this competition. His last jump, 726, round number one, 730. Near his best. He does have the support inside the grandstand. He, along with Aaron Spencer, can still deny Ryan and Hibbert. But he has to do it here. The Bahamians like it, but it's not good enough for a medal. Does get the white flag. Holds on to that left hamstring. Never a good look. Short, stocky, powerful. Fast. Ooh. Full of heart. Determined. I but like him. Cranked it up at the nth hour. Gave it his very best when you want it most. There's a focused look of the Bohemian jumper. Frank Weatherford, Lee Van Sands in their history. Great triple jumpers. Sands, great long jump and triple jump. Here's Spencer. He's looked so good. All series long. 7-1-7. Seven, seven. I've loved watching him jump. Aaron Spencer of Barbados occupies the bronze medal position at 7.48 in the fourth round. Oh, he's lightning fast on the runway. But it's the red flag. And the Barbadian delights in Kingston. But has the set of a bronze. And the medals have been decided in the under 20 boys long jump. Silver to Uroy Ryan of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Bronze to Aaron Spencer of Barbados. And the gold medalist Jaden Hibbert of Jamaica. I think he was probably looking to pass. He still has the triple jump to come. But... He is going to take his final attempt. Doesn't look very happy, Jaden Hibbert. Will be heading off to join the NCAA indoor champion, Wayne Pinnock and Kieran McLeod, former Kingston College boys as well at Tennessee. Asked for his home crowd to help him for the final time today. Jaden Hibbert of Jamaica. Hits the board well. Another healthy effort. Not too sure it's better than his 762 though. Gets the white flag. And the world under 20 number one. The world under 20 triple jump silver medalist. Comes to the Carifta Games. And wins the first of what he hopes will be two gold medals.
behind the board on his final attempt. Maybe moved his run up a little bit. Had been hitting the board the last three or four times. A little sneak peek at the board. Maurice Wignall. And uh, job done, though. This one imperfect. Earlier jump gets him gold. Looks up to the fans. He asked them to come out in numbers. And they have. It's 7 2 9. Last round for the champion. What I think he did, he just made an adjustment because the wind was blowing him so fast on the runway. He took it back and maintained his strides. Didn't necessarily go any faster and then that caused him a little bit of centimeter behind. I wonder as well if the wind died down on that final jump. Planks didn't seem to be blowing as hard as they were before. But that concludes... It's an exciting way to conclude the morning session with the long jump for under 20 boys. Yeah, excellent way to end that session. The 